Okay, now let's look at what English will do for us and what it won't do for us. First of all, let's look at what it won't do for us. A lot of people are under the misconception that when you put English on the cue ball, it changes the direction that the cue ball will go. That's false. Another thing that they think is that it will change the direction that the object ball will go. That's also false. We're going to demonstrate that right here. We've got this little cut shot using our training ball right here because it's got a black stripe on it which will give you an indication of, of what spin is taking place. And we're going to hit this ball into the pocket and we're going to use right hand English, we're going to use left hand English, and we're going to use no English at all on three of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at where the cue ball hits on the cushion over here using all three of those different uh, actions to see if the English has any effect on the angle that the cue ball comes off of that object ball. So let's start first of all with just a center ball hit, no English. Came over to that point there. All right. Now the next one, we're going to put left hand English on the ball, but we're still going to pocket it the same way. Hit it in the center on the left hand side for left hand English. You saw it came right over to the same point. Now let's put some right hand English on it. See what happens. We put right hand English on it, same point, just came off a little different angle because of the right hand English. But what we've just learned is that you don't control the angle that a cue ball comes off of an object ball by use of English. The English doesn't give us anything in that respect. 